Today I want to talk about summer losses. Hello, I'm Griffey, you spoken to Winnie Griffith here we dog everything, beekeeping farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now today, a bit of a serious video and something uh, most beekeepers don't talk about and that is summer losses. Now unfortunately, it's not all sun and honey when you're a bee farmer or a beekeeper and you do lose bees in the winter and the summer and I just want to do this quick video explaining how that happens. I've got 30 hives on this site now. I've inspected all the bees here. I know what's queen, right? what's not, what's swarm, what have I split, etc. And it's quite, quite interesting really to look at this, the, the figures and the stats and it just outlines really good how the summer losses uh, work. So, behind me, there is I think 30 hives smack on on the dot. Now that is too many bees for a site. I am gonna take probably 12 hives out of this site and bring it down to between 16 and 20 and then keep it at that kind of level. I find that works out better. And uh, yeah, there's too many bees here. But anyway, as it is, it's pretty good for the video. So out of the 30 hives here, 19 of them are queen right, they haven't tried swarming and you know, the hive is looking pretty good. Now, 11 of them is queen less, or not quite queen less, but they haven't got uh, a laying queen in there yet. So one third of the bees have either swarmed or they've tried to swarm and I've intervened and I've taken a split and a new queen hasn't started laying in the old hive. Now, out of that 11, I would estimate, there's some bees attack me, get out the way. Now, out of the 11 that are not, that, that hasn't got a laying queen in there, there's virgin queens in there waiting to either mate or they have mated and they just haven't started laying yet. Now, I would say, between 50 and 70% success rate there out of the 11 there. So straight away, I'm looking at losing between four and six of those hives, uh, just by the queen not being mated uh, successfully. It's never 100% success rate. So if I don't do anything here now, and don't intervene again, straight away, four or six of these uh, I'm going to lose in the summer. Now obviously I can fix that, I can add more frames of eggs in there, I can introduce another queen and spend a bit of time and labour and fix those hives. But just as it stands, it goes to show, when people talk about summer losses, that's what they mean. When they've done a split or something swarmed, the queen hasn't been able to mate successfully and that hive either becomes a drone layer or they just die off, all the bees disappear and then you've just got an empty box. 30 hives on site, one third of them has tried to swarm and at least half of that one third uh, will die. So you're talking 30 hives going to roughly anything between 22 and 25 uh, in the summer and that's just down to swarming really. And obviously I want to try and fix the percentage there a little bit, introduce some frame of eggs into some of these hives, give them a second chance. But some, some of these hives, the, the wax is too old, the bees are too old, I'm just going to let them, if they fail to make a queen, I'm just going to let them slowly die off and uh, or just wither away and then melt that box down, get some nice frames of uh, foundation in there for next year, that'll be a brand new fresh box ready for next year and that's it that's some uh, losses i've tried to explain it as best as i can there quite easy to work it out here because there's 30 hives and we can do things in thirds and i, I suppose you know two thirds of the bees not wanting a swarm etc is uh it's quite a good stat but still you know one third of your bees are not being productive on this site and 
go on this year. I mean, this year has been horrendously bad here in Wales, horrendously bad. We had a bit of, bit of honey coming in early in the year, then that disappeared, then the bees were starving, we were feeding them. Then a little bit of honey came in again off the hawthorn, the hawthorn saved us for a while. And we've just had the June gap now, and we just had a bit of rain come into July. And uh, all these hives now, most of the troopers you can see there now, they, the, the weight of these hives are drastically been reduced every single day. If we don't get uh, a good week in the next 10 days, I would estimate that 90% of my honey is going to be gone. And that's quite disastrous, and it is, but it is still early. The bees will be working the bramble today and yesterday. Uh, I think rain tomorrow, but then the forecast is promising a good week, warm weather, and that's all we need. This, keeping bees is like gambling. If we get a good week's worth of weather, nice warm weather, every hive here will fill a super up no problem. If we get 10 to 15 days, I'll have two supers full of every single hive. But the downside of that is, at this time of year, when the bees are at their strongest, is they can eat the super in a week as well. So it's just a case of two steps forward, one step back, or sometimes three steps back. And uh, we're just at the cusp of things now where it can either go okay, average, we're not, we're not gonna get an exceptional year this year, or it can be a disaster. And uh, that's a bit of an update uh, since I'm here doing this video. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, you understand a bit about summer losses. People don't want to talk about summer losses, but you do get summer losses and winter losses. They're, they're both not uh, essentially tied up together. Dif you get different reasons for why hives fail. And that's it. How are your hives doing this year? Have you experienced more summer losses than usual? Have you got less honey on the hive than usual? Let me know in the comments. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.